Henry, let us down right now. Silence! Or it'll be nothing but bread and water for you. That's more than we're getting now. Silence, worm! And bow down before the king! <laughs> oh, you can't! <laughs> to admit that you're the bossiest person ever? Never! You'll always be bossier than me! He's always horrid! What's that word that begins with in? Inside? Insolence? Thank you! I mean, silence, worm! I'm fed up with this! Let's have a bit of... Uh, what's it called? Jousting. Yeah, that! And you will be taking part <laughs> oh, I'll get the <laughs> Subjects, welcome to our jolly joust. On my left, the fearsome and undefeated Black Knight. Facing the Black Knight on my right, Moody Margaret. <laughs> Your Majesty, are you sure about this? She's a girl. I heard that. Do you dare to question the king? No, of course not. It's just that. Good. And the joust begins! What's going on? Where are the king's chips? Um, you sent everyone to the swamp. There's no one to cook the chips. Graham the Greedy, you like food. I hereby appoint you chief chef of the royal kitchens. Wow. Thanks, Henry. I mean, uh, thanks, your king chef. Now go and cook my chips. Oh, right away, sire. And be quick. Your chips, sire. I thought you knew about food. Um, eating it, mostly. Whose idea was it to make him chief chef? Fine! Oh, well, uh, it was a very good idea. Right, you could go to the swamps. But... Do you think I'm a good king? Uh, I don't know. Right, the swamps for you as well. Henry! Gods, take them away! Uh, we are the gods. Then take yourselves away. Off you go. Huh. It's magnificent. Wow. This will make you invincible, Henry. Oh, no. Um, um, as I was saying, my niece, um, I'm not sure it's actually going to work as you intended. Maybe we should listen to what he's got to say, Henry. You too? Right. You're going to the dungeons. <laughs> and you are banished to the swamps. What? Henry? You're a traitor. Now, off you go. Mom? Not exactly. I've come to set you free. And then we have to find Margaret. Do you know where she is? Right here. What do you want? We all know Henry's gone a bit bonkers. We're going to have to do something. Like what? Like, well, I'm sure you'll think of something. Ow! Oh, King Henry, they're coming! And they don't sound very happy. Help with Henry the Horrible! Victory is mine! Take this! <laughs> 
give you one of my biscuits. One of my very valuable biscuits that everyone else is prepared to pay a fortune for. No, I don't think so. I'll pay. Oh, well then. How much? A limited use of your crimson cutlass till the end of term. Deal. And the pirate had to go with it. Deal. And all the chocolate biscuits in your secret club tin. And the tin too. Deal. Now give. I wonder what's going on over there. Someone said Henry's selling biscuits. Henry selling biscuits? Well, we'll see about that. I said give. Henry, how could you? Mum made those biscuits for you with love. And, 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 and now you're just giving them away. Well, not giving them away. I had to pay a high enough price. Go away, Worm. No, I won't. Do as you're told, Wormy Worm. Yeah, do as you're told. Come on, Peter. Better do what you're told. Now would be good, Henry. <sighs> I'll get you for this, Henry. Oh, there you are, Peter. Just making some more biscuits for Henry. He's asked for them every day this week. I just don't know how he can eat them all. But at least they're good for him. Uh, uh, Mom? What is it, Sweetie Poppet? Could I have the recipe for the biscuits, do you think? Well, oh, I don't see why not, though it did belong to Great Aunt Greta and she did swear me to secrecy not to tell anyone else. Uh, Miss Lovely asked me if she could have it. Oh, well, if it's for that lovely Miss Lovely, then I'm sure she can keep a secret too. Oh, thanks, Mum. <laughs> It's okay. I had my fingers crossed all the time. I didn't really tell a lie. I'm sure Miss Lovely would love to have the recipe if she knew about it. Oh, phew. It doesn't count if your fingers are crossed. I'm sure I read that somewhere. Huh. Do I hear 50 pages? Hey? Oh, now, ladies and gentlemen, what am I doing with this incredibly rare and secret recipe? Secret recipe? Um, uh, one pound and five pence? Come on, you're having a laugh. This recipe is worth far more than that to some people here. Don't be shy, speak up. Twenty pounds. Thank you, lovely lady in the corner. Twenty pound, I bid twenty pound for this secret recipe, known only to Peter and Peter's mum. And Peter's great aunt Greta, so I'm told. What a worm! He's gonna ruin my business! Peter! Peter! Henry, are you in the bidding? No! Uh, well, yes! Twenty-five pounds. Hand it over, Peter. Thirty pounds! Come on, Peter, do as you're told! Fifty pounds! Give it to me, Peter! Seventy-five pounds! I'll give it to you, Henry, because I... Going, going. One hundred pounds. Good. Sold. Um. Uh, uh, sold to Henry for one hundred pounds. One hundred pounds. Yes, Henry. You just paid one hundred pounds for Mum's secret recipe. One hundred pounds for this. Well, at least it's mine, and no one else's. What's that? Did you think I would be so stupid as to not take a copy of it? Well, yes, but... And shall I tell you what the secret ingredient is? Oh, yeah! Yes! yes. <laughs> carrots. Carrots? You mean, I've been eating carrots all this time! That's right, Henry. Rabbit food. It's so easy being me. I'm hot, Henry. Uh-oh. Better drop 
the wheels. Ralph? Money, Henry. It's not my fault. Blame my horrid parents who never give me any pocket money. <laughs> what are we going to do now? Guessing. Uh, good at guessing, are you? Oh, that's my stop. See you later. Out of my way. Shift. See you on the finishing line. Loser. No, it's the wrong stop. Oh, what a cheat. <laughs> Sorted. <laughs>
plenty of time. <laughs> Little happy hippos fan. <laughs> Next place. For, for. Uh, Polly Pops, I was thinking... Yes, Polly Wally? How about you go and see Happy Hippos, seeing as you like them so much, and Henry and I go and see, uh, something else? But we agree, Polly Wally. We're all going to see Happy Hippos. I know, Polly Pops, but... And you know Polly Pops likes Happy Hippos. So do I. Yes, but... And little Vera so wants to see Happy Hippos with her daddy. Don't you, little diddle donkeys? <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> <sighs> Happy Hippos. Hooray! Hold on, Roly Mo. Have you two boys been to the toilet? <laughs> yes, I went before we left home. How about you, Henry? I don't need to go. Oh, don't be a silly Billy. You'll only want to go in the middle of the film. <laughs> Off you go. Oh. Just seen the scariest film ever. Not Guzzle Monsters from Mars. Uh, I don't know. It's well scary. You don't want to see it, does he, Bert? Uh, I don't know. Yes, I do. But my Tony brother wants to see Happy Hippos. Happy Hippos? That's a baby film. You're going to see Happy Hippos. Ha <laughs> ha. I didn't say I'm going to see it. <laughs> Like some popcorn too. You've got to share, Henry. Come on, Henry. Share with your brother. Here you go, worm. Ticket. What? <laughs> Henry, where's your ticket? In there. Oh, Henry, you silly boy. Oh, I don't believe this. <laughs> it must be somewhere. Here, you have this, Peter. Hey! Oh, thanks. And um, uh, get him another ticket. Uh, you two go in. All right, Polly Body, but don't be long. We're happy and we're clubby. We're the happy hippos. Coming. Yes! <laughs> Play. Sardines, of course! <laughs> How lovely! 
Shall I take your plant up to your room, Peter? Yes, please, Mum. Sam and I will count. Gordon, you hide. Oh, goody! One... Sam anywhere? No, I was asleep, Fungus Head. All I've seen was the inside of my eyelids. I was asleep! But... Out! Aha! I bet they're in here. Nope, not in here. And don't worry, I haven't forgotten about you, my little friend. It must be nearly feeding time. He watches, but you've just been fed. Ah! Eat radioactive fist, Miss Grant. <laughs> Taste the full force of my radioactive bile, monster. Yeah, get him, you smart. your last plot, Dr. Fowl. Get ready for my burp of doom. But what's this lurking behind, Mutant Max? What dreadful horror has Dr. Fowl cooked up this time? Mutant Max primes his gauntlets of goo, unsuspecting as the evil horror creeps up behind him. Closer and closer and closer. Look behind you, Mutant Max! Behind you! Could this be the end of Mutant Max? Oh, that's stupid! There's no way Max wouldn't have seen that! Stop it like Mutant Max! You never see That's not my stomach! Oh, 
to make me a megastar? Let me tell you what perfect Peter's really like. That fee is acceptable. What did you say? What fee? The fee we pay if he gets into the final. Five hundred pounds. Five? We can go higher. Higher? Seven hundred and fifty pounds if you insist. Seven hundred and fifty pounds? Right then, one thousand pounds, but that's our final offer. Uh, all right. Henry? Deal. It's a deal. We'll be in touch. Gotta go now. One of my um, artists needs me. Who was that on the phone? Just a wrong number. Are you coming to join the party, Henry? Oh, no, thanks. Early night for me. Are you feeling all right, Henry? Oh, yes, thanks, Mum. I know the value of sleep. Now, I'm really worried about you, Henry. Watch and learn, Mum. Watch and learn. More milk, Peter? Uh, yes, thank you, Henry. Well, I must say it's a pleasure to see you down so early for breakfast, Henry. Want bogey brain? I've come to claim what's mine. What do you mean? Peter, I've come to make him a megastar. Now, where is he? <gasps> How do you know about that? Uh, I heard it on the grapevine. Now, bunch. Uh, well, Wub's not here at the moment. He's gone for a walk. Well, when he gets back, tell him that I need to see him and quickly. There's no time to lose if we're going to get him through to the final. Will do. Bye for now. Come on, Peter. We've got work to do. Have you? Yes. Peter's going to help me. Uh, count my pocket money. Am I? Move it, worm. Hmm? But what if I don't want to be a megastar? Oh, you do. Believe me, you do. Who's going to make me? <laughs> Come on, Robin. You and I. What's that? Stay there. I'll deal with this. Oh, yes. This is my moment. I have not lived next door to those revolting boys for my whole life for nothing, you know. <sighs> Finally, Margaret. Finally. <sighs> Margaret. Henry. You lied to me. He's in there, isn't he? Yes, he is. Then let me at him. He's my wormy little brother, not yours. So I'm going to make him a megastar, not you. Ha! That's what you think. As I was saying, Peter... It's you or her? Not much choice, is there? Then I choose you. Wise choice, Peter. Wise choice. Now, about your image, Peter. Welcome to the auditions for Make Me a Mega Star. When you're ready, Peter. Where are Shaka? Where are Shaka? Where are you? Where are you? Bedtime is for baby. Go for it, my little songbird. Get up now. Get up now. Thank you. You're in the final. Come on, Worm. We've got to get home. Mum thinks we've been for a walk in the park. Well, I didn't even get to say thank you. Tough. You can say thank you when you win the final. Come to me eventually. Come inside and we'll talk tactics. And thank you, daring Div. A very interesting use of a banana there. If you've just joined us, you're watching the final finale of Make Me a Megastar. And next up, we've got a rather unlikely but extremely talented contestant, Peter Perfect. Make me a mega star! Just my brother! Just my brother! Don't you dare! He's my act now! What have you done? I've done what you could never do! I've made him a star! It's so easy being me! I'm home! 
Now listen. The posters will be taken out of the safe tomorrow night at the fancy dress party so that they can choose a winner. That's when we'll strike. And we're going to need some help. Does this party last? Cool girl, Henry! <gasps> oh! You're late! Peter had to change costume five times! <gasps> Everyone's in position. Such a nice turnout, don't you think? Bert's on alert. And Ralph is ready. in that costume? Uh, I don't know. Come on! Lovely costume, Margaret. Thank you, Miss Oddbod. Tell her to get the key from my office. Yes, miss. Do you want me to take the posters for you? No, I'll put them in the classroom. <laughs> the hurry! All right, then. Hmm, strange. The key should be here. Look! A key! Could that be it? Aha! When they go into the storeroom, we can sneak out. Not yet! For something else we need! What's going on? What's that? Henry's poster! The plan worked! We got it back! Now I'm supposed to destroy it! Supposed to destroy it? That's what I said! <laughs> but if Henry thinks I'm going to do what he tells me to do, he's got another thing coming! Yeah! You are? The noise you heard must have come from the party, William. Oh, sorry, Miss Oddbot. 
so easy being me. I'm Henry. No one really cares about my fault except me. I'll do anything to keep it. Anything? Well, yeah, pretty much. Then listen to me. <gasps> Anything yet? No. No. I don't know. Oh, well, there must be something in there. Keep looking, there's no time to lose. Henry's mum's already ordered the rotivator. I've got it! Shh! Zoe! If a piece of land is under dispute, and if that piece of land shall be shown to demonstrate that there was an aforementioned established establishment on that piece of land prior to the piece of land coming under dispute, comma, then the dispute shall be non-disputational. Eh? What does that mean? It means we can save Henry's fort. Come on! Shh! Now the biscuit, Henry. No, thanks, Ralph. I'm right off my food with all this business. I wonder if Margaret and her team will come up with anything. She better. Mind you, I did agree a no-win-no-fee clause with her. Eh? What does that mean? Apparently, it means if she doesn't win the case, she doesn't get her fee. And what's her fee? Leader of the Purple Hang Gang for a whole month. And all the chocolate biscuits she can eat. Oh. Exactly. <sighs> Uh, excuse me for asking, but am I speaking with the producer of The Big Dig? Aye, this is me speaking. It is? Oh, oh, well then, have I got a dig for you? You have? Oh, yes. You see, there's this old fort. Old fort, you see? Yes, it's really, really old, nearly falling down, and it belongs to a friend of mine, Henry. Well, well, he's not exactly a friend, but we'll let that pass for the time being. Nearly falling down, you see. Oh, yes. And is under threat. Oh, under threat? A really, really serious threat. A majorly major threat. And we believe that this fort is actually on the site of a major archaeo... Archeo... Archaeological. Yeah, that's it. Discovery. What we mean is that it's got to be protected right now. <gasps> Thank you. A job well done. Now for part B of plan A. Are you Henry's dad? Uh, yes. What's he done now? Uh, he's alerted us to a major archaeal... archaeal... Archaeological? <clears throat> uh, discovery. Uh, I see. Oh, uh, you'll need to sign this. What is it? It's a contract to say that you won't take down any forts without prior permission. Here's a pen. Oh, uh, I see. <laughs> Purple handgun, here I come! Ooh! And Spinnaker's puppy Lilas looks really yummy too. Ooh! Whatever is going on? And, of course, we'll reinstate your fort exactly the way that you want it. Uh, we just need to excavate the archi... Uh, the bits and pieces uh, that are already down there. Cool. <gasps> what? <sighs> Shame they didn't find anything other than that old teapot of mine. Hmm, yes. Wonder why they thought there was anything there in the first place. Who knows? But anyway, at least Henry will get a nice new fort. To go with my nice new barbecue? Come on, it's time to unveil the new fort. I declare this fort well and truly open! <gasps> but it's exactly like it was before. Because that's exactly how I wanted it. Thank you, Mr Producer. My pleasure, Henry. So, was it worth it? What do you mean? Well, Margaret, her fee. Oh, oh yes. 
I don't have to worry about enemy invasions anymore with her around. Yeah. <laughs> it's so easy being me. I'm Look at them. Well, it's not my fault they took away all the ice cream. Well, you can just help me put them away. <sighs> Collect six tokens and win a tour of the Frosty Freeze Ice Cream Factory. And write a slogan. Well, yeah, I guess I can do that. Frosty Freeze is really cool. If you don't eat it, you're a fool. <laughs> if that doesn't win, my name isn't Rude Ralph. Thanks, Ralph. You really are a pal. <laughs> well, what do you know? I won! Yes! Go, Henry! Go, Henry! Henry! Gotta go! <laughs> Hi and welcome to Frosty Freeze Ice Cream, where everyone gets a really cool reception. <laughs> uh, my name's Frosty Steve. Follow me to Frosty Freeze. <laughs> will we get free samples? Henry? Of course you will. <laughs> yes! <laughs> The uh, snowbots, they're very cool workers. <laughs> and this is where we mix in all our lovely ingredients. <laughs> wow. Oh, much ice cream! Oh, I can't wait! I'm hungry already! Yeah, Mum packed you a snack, just in case. Great! it is. It's delicious. Mmm, that is good. Can't quite work out the flavour. <laughs> Try some, Henry. Uh, it's carrot. Carrot? Carrot? <laughs> uh, yeah. You see, Mum packed carrots for my snack and they accidentally fell into the vat. Ideas for new flavours. <laughs> now, what can I get you, Henry? An extra large scoop of my special. 
special flavor, please. What's that? <laughs> ketchup ice cream. After all, ketchup's made from a vegetable too. <laughs> Out of the loft. Out of the loft? The only thing up there is Margaret's old stuffed toys. Yes, that's what I need. Stuffed toys. Lots of them. Now! OK, Henry, OK. Which ones did you want? Um, all of them. Oh, uh, there's the door. I I'd best come down. Uh, it's OK. I'll get the door. Well, what about the ladder, Henry? Oh, don't worry. I'll put it back in a minute. Yes, who is it? You know who it is, Henry. Now get me my mum and dad. Oh, I'm afraid they're busy right now. Why don't you come back next week? Oh, I'm going to get you for this, Henry. Maybe. But I'm going to win the cash prize first. <laughs> Where's my Mutant Max coming? I want it now. Coming right up, Henry. Here it is, Henry, and I've got you the new Killer Boy Bat CD as well. Do you have the new Super Mega Soaker yet, Henry? Um, not sure. Maybe. There. One dungeon drinks kit for you, Margaret. Just like you asked for. And, um, here are the tickets for the football. That's better. And I want shepherd's pie for tea, not that cabbage again. Uh, yes, yes, Margaret. Margaret. Oh, I can't find anything in here! And everything in here is pink! <laughs> Don't be moody, Margaret. Not Margaret, I'm Henry! <gasps> Wait a minute. Nonsense, Henry. We can't send you home. We like having you here. It's not fair! What do you want, bogey brain? I want to go home. Oh, so you don't like my house anymore? No, I don't. Well, too bad, Henry. You're going to have to lump it. <laughs> Get Moody Margaret to help me. I'll have to help myself. <laughs> Let's see how much they like this. Marvellous! Nothing beats a good bit of drumming, eh, Henry? But I'm making loads of noise! Oh, yes, just like Margaret. We love it when Margaret plays the drums. Oh, well, that worked. <gasps> oh, Henry! What are you doing? Just a spot of decorating. You go right on and decorate, Henry. It reminds me of when Margaret was little. She used to decorate all the time. So now I'm like Margaret when she was little. I give up. <gasps> You're sitting down. So? In my chair. You have to go, Henry. Now, we only have one rule and you've broken it. Yes! <laughs> How the other two are getting on. Are you happy with us here, William? Oh, yes, I am. <laughs> well, we like having you here too. Night, night. Sleep tight. I wanted apple pie for dessert, and then I wanted to watch the Star Factor on TV. Not the other way round! <laughs> I can't take it anymore. <laughs> I want William back. <laughs> yeah, uh, me too. <coughs> uh, Margaret, you 
you can uh, leave at once. <laughs> and good riddance, weirdos. It's so easy being me. I'm Dad, where are the brakes? Don't worry, you won't need brakes. Oh, uh, okay. Dad? A job well done. It's really heavy! You need less traction and more lift. Get lost, worm. Don't be horrid, Henry. Any ideas, Peter? Yes! You need wings! Wings? Yes! Like a fairy! No way! It's here! It's here! Huh? <laughs> I'm definitely gonna win now! Of course you are, my little pumpkin pop. about wings? Mum says dinner's ready. Tell her we're not coming in till it's finished. On your marks. Good luck, Henry. Good luck, Henry! Three, two, one, go! Release the handbrake! I don't know how to! Oh! I knew you should have read the instruction manual! One down, three to go! The Turbo Booster Hyperdrive Lever. No! Ah! Oh! Another one down! I don't think the fairy wings are going to do it, Peter. No, but this will. Fairy dust! Oh, what's that? That's good fairy dust, Peter. Little 
help from my friends? It's so easy being me. I'm Harlan Henry. Yummy! I love stew. I hate stew. Where are the chips? We don't have chips. Where are the burgers? We don't have burgers. Well, what do you have? Stew. But I want chips! I want chips! I want chips! I want... <laughs> Stew, please. Shh! Get dressed quickly. We're escaping. But I don't want to escape. to escape. Okay, I'll leave you behind then, all by yourself. Thanks, Henry. I'm going to get my junior tracker badge. You're coming, aren't you, Al? Oh, sorry, Henry. They said we're going for a 20-kilometre run tomorrow. Oh, you want to escape, don't you? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Well, we can't just sit here. Let's go before they come back. Uh, which way is home? Uh, I don't know. We're lost. What if we can't get out of here? Or what if they never find us? What if we get eaten by wolves? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Pizza or chips? I don't know. Burger. Pizza or chips or burger? If you had to choose. Um. Yes? I don't know. <laughs> Wait. They came this way. How do you know? Tracks. Freshly chewed gum and, and the biggest thrill of all, Henry's skateboard! If it wasn't for your brother's tracking skills, we might not have found you. Shall we wake your friend? I don't know. And so we come to my favourite part of the summer, the Camp Sunshine Awards. And the Hunter, Tracker and Scouter Award goes to Peter. Congratulations, Peter. Oh, goody! I've got a badge! Well done, Peter. Next is our Survival Skills Award. And this year, one recruit stood out from all the rest. Henry. Whoop. Well done, Henry. 
And every year, our two top recruits share a prize of a free week's holiday. Great! Where? Right here at Camp Sunshine.